just going to send it out to the world. Who, who, who knows their, their reasoning behind it? I don't know. But um, it's like any robotic things that you can think about doing, you can do it with the Raspberry Pi. Like you're, the sky's the limit. There's actually um, some things on here that you really can't see. There's a, like, the, for some, some um, peripheral devices, there's a thin film. And um, most small cameras, like USB cameras or whatever, whatever you want to call it, they have a thin film. On the Raspberry Pi, there's a place on it. You can't really see it, but you can slide a thin film into. So now what can I do? I can create a webcam. I can make a webcam for my, my Raspberry Pi using a $25 um, camera. Take now, now, arm a programmer with that technology. Programmers know how to manipulate bits, manipulate imagery. So now it's like, I can take you wherever you want to go. I can take you wherever you want. You want to become the next video game programmer? Fine. But it's going to start with this two lines of code and this light bulb. That's what it's going to start with. So, I don't know if I even answered your question as far as like, what else can you do with it? But it's like, what, what, what can you do? What can you do with a Mac? Yeah, I think the thing is they made it cheap, like you said. Mm -hmm. So, the people will just figure out what they're going to do with it. Like, yep. No one can really answer that. It's just like there are yeah. so many things you can do. Like, we don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. What what can that, I mean? I'll tell anybody. What can you what can you do with a Mac? If someone sat here and gave you ActiveX Pro, which is what how much three four thousand dollars? It's it's the, the the software you use to um to edit videos and stuff. If someone sat here and gave you three four thousand dollar ActiveX Pro on a Mac machine, what could you do with it? You're gonna let that Mac machine sit there. That's it. It's just too much. It's way over your head and. Sometimes you simplify things, but you make it harder. If people said, no, I'm just going to give you this. And a hello world. <laughs> a hello world. Basically, whenever you whenever you have any anything that you want to get started with with, with with computers, they say it's a hello world program. So you write it the, you, so long as you made the computer say hello world to the screen. This light bulb is the hello world of robotics and electronics. So um, it's not just programming. Because you have to figure out how to do the transistors, resistors. So this is this is hardcore electronics once you get into um, interfacing with the GPIO pins. But um, it's, it's 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 awesome. Actually, if you it's, sorry, I go on all night. But but the, the 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 Arduino Uno, like I said, it's a microcontroller. So really, you have to plug it in to reprogram it. And um, You, it's almost like you can you can S, you can just SSH into this and reprogram the, com the, the the computer or the robot that you build. If you decided to, to just make one robot and that's all that this is going to do, then that's the possibilities are endless. But the, um, they built the I think a a, a, a I robot, the like the Roomba, the thing that goes around the floor to clean up the floor and things like that. I think they, they, built, they built one of those with the Raspberry Pi because you can put um, sensors on here and that's what I was saying, pulse width modulation, PWM, is that you can read in sensory data and if you know how to program, you'll know how to manipulate that data, what to do with that data and how to have different um, different outcomes. Outputs, displays, mm -hmm. how you use it. Definitely. So, we're done.